Oh, table coral. We need two ta- What the hell? Was that a dab? <laughs> oh god. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? This game is broken! Oh. Hey guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Subnautica. I, gu I guess you guys thought <laughs> this day would never come. I'm sure some of you hoped this day would never come. But I'm back after my week's absent. I'm not even sure if this is going to be like the first video that's going to go up on the channel anyway. So I'm not sure why I'm doing like a formal introduction to everybody. Be like, hey, I'm alive. <laughs> I haven't died in my week off. I suppose I have been posting a lot of stuff on Instagram, Twitter. Shameless plug. You can follow me if you want. <sighs> Simon, for fuck's sake, can you, can you be quiet when I'm trying to do my intro? Boy, please. I decided to ditch the, um, the face cam. Why? Because I just realized my face doesn't have fa any facial expressions. So I decided, you know what, we're just going to ditch it all together. Because I'm sure that was uh, basically taken away from the viewer experience. So maybe the viewer experience right now is going to be enhanced due to the uh, the lack of the uh, the face on the screen. So hopefully you're going to are gonna appreciate that. Nice. All right. So in the last episode, I have no idea what we did. I'm pretty sure we explored some wreckage. And then we did a, a little bit of... Um, running away from the squids if you guys remember that i'm not actually sure what we found either oh we found aluminium oxide diamonds and some other things wait is that all the aluminium oxide that i have on me surely i got more <gasps> oh okay we got more aluminium oxide so we should be fine i'm pretty sure that was needed for either the prawn suit or something else there's a message broadcasting summer so we gotta get back to base we're gonna start building things we're gonna read this message can you not with the whole damage holy shit is there any ships on the uh on the radar or any fish you know any monsters are gonna try and eat me alive which is gonna make for an amazing thumbnail which i can then use so the titling of this video is gonna be much easier but how have you guys been are you guys good are you guys excited for the uh almighty varak to return i say almighty though i'm just like you know an everyday regular normal guy nothing special about me mother uh what I think that was the, uh, a quote from John Les Joie. That was like a proper throwback Thursday, recorded on a Friday. Let's get inside and let's Welcome see. Aboard, Captain. Oh, it's good to be back. Not gonna lie, it's good to be back in our good old base, you know. Look at that. The bioreactor is inactive, as you'd expect as well. Door shut, so everything is fine. This place isn't haunted because the doors aren't open. Right, what's the message? Uh, well. Is that a bug or is that alien language? <laughs> what the hell is this meant to be? Uh, maybe it's some sensitive information that I just leaked about the uh, the aliens mating season or something like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh man, it's gonna be weird getting back into recording videos again. We might have to expand our base a little bit. How's our office looking? I don't like how the ladder is like in the middle of the office. But luckily, you can just kind of like walk over, which doesn't really get in the way, I suppose. But we found the uh, the components for a scanner room, which is quite nice. So we might just as well make that. We need emerald glass, we need two computer chips, and we need titanium. That all shouldn't be too hard to make, because I'm pretty sure I still have like the teeth of that beast. Let me dump all this stuff into the um, the lockers right here. We're just going to completely get rid of that. We're going to dump the signals. I'm going to keep those. Holy shit. I made a lot of oxygen tanks, didn't I? And there's another one in here. You know what? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna need as many anymore. We definitely need to increase like, the capacity on these. We need to upgrade them, essentially. What did we need to upgrade these O2 tanks? We need to go to the upgrade station on my right. Air tank. Are you serious? We just need titanium. Do I have titanium on me? Look at that. There's one piece of titanium right here. Do we have metal salvage? No. First of all, let me put this into the bioreactor, so let's actually have some power running through this base again, which would be rather nice, wouldn't it, guys? And do I have any more titanium here? No. <sighs> I just don't know what to say. So let me try and find the teeth or tusks of the, um... Uh, is it the sea lion? No, it's definitely not the sea lion. It, it's... Uh, I mean, the sea lions are definitely not looking dangerous. There's another creature egg, but I'm pretty sure we need to get like the hatching tank or something like that, which I might have the ingredients for. No, to be honest, I probably don't. Never mind. Just ignore what I said. Yes. Look at that. We got some metal salvage that I can pick up. And you know what? I'm gonna grab some fish. 
Oh, no, we can't eat those. That's Gary fish, right? Oh, Jimmy is going to have some friends. And speaking about Jimmy, uh, he's going to come back soon enough. I know some of you guys have been really anticipating the return of Jimmy, but the problem was there. Jimmy kind of lost his voice, you know? What do you mean I lost my voice, Vedak? I just wanted to have a sex change done. Now I sound more beautiful than ever. Stay strong, lads. I am coming back. Right, so I picked up a whole bunch of metal salvage. So if we turn that into titanium... And then we create the high capacity O2 tanks. We might actually be fine to stay underwater for hours, maybe even days, decades. Oh my god, millennia. Maybe we're gonna go as far as, as staying underwater for basically years to come. Let's have a look. How much is that actually going to help? Holy shit. Two of these are as good as three. You know what? Let's just get rid of all of that. Hoverfish, we gotta put you guys in the aquarium. And I gotta do that fast before you, uh, you, you die. Because obviously there's no oxygen for you to breathe on board of this station. Holy shit. This aquarium is just gonna be filled with hoverfish, won't it? Look at that. There's four of those bastards in there now. Are you kidding me? Are you gonna start mating? Is there, are we gonna witness some alien sex? Maybe? No? Look at that. Maybe that one is going for a cheeky swift uh, <laughs> hovering approach. <laughs> Just hover above their prey and then, ah, oh, attack. All right. No, nope, it doesn't look like anybody is going to do that. Okay. Let's actually go out and uh, find what we needed because I want to build this kind of room in today's episode. Okay, we got some gold. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just passing by. No, I swear to God. Stay clear of me. There you go. We got one of them. I'm not sure how many, many we needed for emerald glass. I assume it would be two. So I'm just going to pick another one just to be sure that we got enough. Because I don't fancy coming back here again, you know? What's this? Oh, that's another one of those uh, cheeky little crates. Do I see another one around here somewhere? No. I'm okay. They can't catch me. Look at this. Hey. Wait, can we get some oxygen from this? Come on. Oh! No, 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 no. We're not getting oxygen. No, 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 no. Those bastards are, 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 oh, hello. Wait a minute. Is there maybe like a, no, nope, there's nothing there. Never mind. If I'm not mistaken, that should be all the glass that we need. I'm pretty sure I picked up about 10, <laughs> 10. <laughs> That's like four. Definitely not 10. I, I promise I know how to count, guys. Gosh. Everybody knows that 2 plus 2 equals 13 times square uh, to the power of accelerated particles. Okay. Gosh. Oh my god! We're back on board of the ship and I've got nearly no power. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I can unload the battery. Game, I swear to god. Stop. Be quiet. Alright? Look at that. I'm gonna charge this as well. This battery. Because, uh, I mean, we've got no use for it right now and this is what the battery charger is kind of for, right? Okay, so we got quartz, which we got to turn into uh, cheeky glass. So I'm going to do that real fast, and then we can make that into emerald glass. There you go. Surely I can make both of them now. I wish there was a feature in Subnautica, which basically allows you to um, select, like, how many things you want to make instead of having to, to do it individually. For example, you just make 10, you know? Computer chip. Copper wire. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so we need two copper wires. I'm gonna be able to achieve that. Damn it. We need some more copper ore, boys. Do we have copper ore? Excuse me? We got some gold, which is nice, you know. We can't complain about gold. But where is the copper? I need copper. Oh, shit. We might have to go and look for copper. I don't see any. All right. Well, adventure for copper, everybody. This episode is just gonna be titled, I have no idea what I'm doing after my break. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to wing it. And I uh, hope for the best. Call me, uh, yeah. Bastard. Bastard of the North. Jon Snow. Oh, shit. What the hell? Have we been here before? Hey, guys. Look at that. There's some uh, outcrops here as well, which is, which is rather nice. There's some metal salvage. We can go... Are you kidding me? No. There's a mushroom cave. Hold on a second. We have been here, haven't we? Is this where I went down? No, because the, uh, the what's it called? The pipes aren't here. We've got access to the mushroom cave here. Oh, you are kidding me. Okay, 
I found another bit, bit of copper, which is nice, because essentially that's all we needed. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit more on my way back, just to make sure that we've got everything. And we've got some more copper for the future as well. Wait, was that another outcrop? Please don't give me titanium. Oh, fuck you. I don't want your titanium. I'm gonna return it. You know when, uh, when uh, it's come like courtesy not to return gifts? I'm gonna do it. Unbelievable. What the hell just... Okay. I'm pretty sure I just broke in the game. What did we need? Table curl sample. Oh my god, the lag spikes are just unbelievable. They're just unbearable. Wait, that's a uh, purple table coral. That doesn't matter, does it? We just need like any table coral. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll be heading back to base. I repeat. Uh, Vlad the lad is heading back to base. Vlad the lad on board of exploration vessel Harmony. Call harmony. So we've got two of the computer chips. We've got the ammo gas. Can you stop? What are you doing? I swear. Get away. All right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the knife. Don't do this again. I, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. Right? Yes. Oh, we can make it. I'm so excited right now. Oh yes, we are making this room. Why is this guy not running properly anymore? What's going on? You all right? Let me build this thing, the scatter room. Am I gonna be able to fit it here? Is it gonna connect? I don't know. I don't think that actually will. Never mind. Hold on a second. Wait, is that gonna connect? <gasps> it does. Oh, hello. Please don't tell me there's gonna be like beams coming down. I don't want beams. I don't want beams, okay? Right. First of all, I'm sorry, but I gotta catch some fish. Why is this generator not providing us with more power? Do we have to build another one? To maybe double the uh, the power output? Because, I mean, this room isn't being really used for anything. Unless we gotta build one of those thermal plants. And then we're gonna get some pipes going towards our base. I mean, we only need lubricant and titanium. So that's not too expensive. But like I said, it's just not good enough, this thing. Alright then, so it's finally daytime. So we can actually explore this thing. Look at- what the hell? What is this thing? It's like an alien map! Wait a minute. What are those two dots right there? They keep moving. Wait a minute, what? Camera one. What's going- what's going on with one of the cameras? Why is the camera- wait, can I move? Can I move the camera? Oh! Oh shit! That bastard stole the camera! Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so awesome! Look, there's another camera right there! So does that mean we can just, uh, swim around using this thing? That is actually cool. You know what? I'm not- I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty dope. So we've got two cameras that we can control. Look at- Are you being serious? Stop stealing my cameras, dude! I will butcher you and your entire family! Stop it! How dare you? Why are those creatures so attracted to these cameras? Yo, this thing actually looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I s what are you coming here for? Are you serious? Are you just gonna steal me just like that? <laughs> How's the other one? <laughs> well, <laughs> the cameras are stolen. And I'm pretty sure that is the location of the cameras right there. What is this? Creature egg, fragments, gold, heat area. That's gonna scan. Does that mean it's gonna show up? <gasps> Oh, I see. So I think what this room does, it basically scans the surrounding area for any resources. I wish it would actually show me where I'm located. I would assume bang on in the middle. But still very hard to tell, like, which direction this this little dot is going to be in. I wish there was, like, a, um, a little thing basically showing you north, south, east, and west. But you just kind of have to guess. Which makes me think this thing isn't actually that useful. What's this thing for? Oh, nice. So apparently you've got a um, scan room HUD chip. Scan it from scan rooms. Wait. Streams data from scan rooms to the HUD. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Scan room range upgrade. It hunches the range and enhances the speed. I assume that's the speed at which it's searching right now. Because, I mean, it only found one thing. Hold on. If we cancel this, right? And, for example, let's find metal salvage. 
should be plenty of that around. There seems to be more just up this hill. Wait, is it just gonna show me one bit at a time? Because that wouldn't be very good. I expected more from this. Come on, scut room. Make yourself useful. Oh, so I think the way this is gonna work, since um, since it has the option for um, for t basically streaming data to your HUD, I think then it kind of eliminates the uh, the whole idea of like, oh shit, I actually need to see like what direction I should be heading in, because it's just gonna show it to me on the HUD, which is actually pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, I quite like this. All right, let me m quickly make some computer chips, and then we're gonna come back and upgrade that thing fully. Alright boys, I think we should have everything to upgrade this thing fully, I hope. Alright, so first of all, let's make the uh, the HUD improvement, just like that. Now we got the range update, or upgrade I should say, and then we've got the uh, the speed. I think we can like do another range potentially, oh, actually no, I don't have enough computer chips, which do, does kind of make sense. Right, so how do I use this thing? Does that mean I just, um, I just stick those in here? There you go, there you go. There you go. Why can I... Wait. Where do I put this thing? Do I have to keep that on me? Oh, dude, look at the... Yeah, that actually looks much bigger now. Oh, I'm pretty sure that maybe goes into like a sea moth or something. Ah, uh, that would actually make sense. Right. Let's have a look. Gold. Yeah, only finds like one bit of gold, which is quite weird, and it's underground. Hold on a second. Let me actually have a look if I can potentially put this thing into our sea moth or a cyclops and see if it's gonna come up with the location of the gold, which would be pretty fucking cool. And I gotta seal up my um, my cyclops as well. So let me exit. Where are the upgrades? They're on the side, right? There you go. So if I put this in here. No, that doesn't go in there. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea where to put this thing. Maybe you guys will know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for another episode of Subnautica. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of all over the place. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. After taking a break, I'm always a little bit rusty coming back to uh, to games. But um, but maybe you guys enjoyed nevertheless. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed, then make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.